Cream cheese frosting is sweet and tangy with a unique flavour. It pairs perfectly with red velvet, carrot cake, cinnamon buns and nearly anything else you can think of. This frosting has a tendency to lead you into a few troubles, but I'm sharing with you my favourite tried and tested recipe so it turns out perfect every time. To make cream cheese frosting you will need a stand mixer or a hand mixer. You can make it by hand if you really want to, but you won't get near as good of a result because it's almost impossible to be able to whip it enough as what a machine can do. You'll be there for hours. Start by adding room temperature butter to the bowl of your stand mixer or a large bowl if you're using a hand mixer. Mix on high speed for about 4 to 5 minutes until the butter has almost doubled in volume and is pale and light in colour. This will make sure your cream cheese frosting isn't yellow and also that it is super fluffy and creamy. Quite a few cream cheese frosting recipes don't actually call for butter, but I found these have trouble getting thick enough to a spreadable consistency. The butter helps to stabilise the frosting, which the cream cheese on its own doesn't do, giving it shape and texture. When the butter has doubled in volume, add in the room temperature cream cheese. When you're making any type of icing or frosting, or just baking in general, make sure you're always using room temperature ingredients to get the best results. Mix the butter and cream cheese together for a minute or so just until they are combined and the mixture has a whipped consistency. If you would like the full recipe for this cream cheese frosting, it will be on my website as well as the full measurements listed in the information box below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and take a look at my other frosting recipes. Use the spatula to wipe down the sides of the bowl to make sure everything is evenly combined. When making this frosting, never go for light or reduced fat or spreadable cream cheese. You'll be setting yourself up for disappointment. Let me know what you're making to go with this cream cheese frosting. If you need any ideas, I would recommend carrot cake, red velvet cupcakes, banana cake or cinnamon buns. All would be so delicious with this. Next is powdered sugar, icing sugar or confectioner sugar. They are all the same thing, they just have different names depending on where you live in the world. Serve this first to make sure there are no lumps and start to add it in thirds to the butter and cream cheese, mixing for about a minute in between to make sure everything is well combined. Scraping down the bowl to get all of the sugar. One last tip I have if you are planning on piping this frosting is to place it in the fridge for about 30 minutes before you need to use it. This helps the frosting just to firm up the slightest. If you are just spreading it over a cake or drizzling it, it's ready to go now. Smooth it over your cake, pipe it onto your cupcakes or drizzle it over your cinnamon rolls. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, let me know if you make it and I will see you in my next video.